it's your brand that make money hi guys welcome to time out show it's your girl shola here if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're a returning subscriber it means the world to me that you keep coming back we love to see you here and we welcome new people here today i'm going to be reviewing the nyx fat oil the nyx fat oil lip drip for you guys so before i start swatching and i show you guys what shades i got and everything i'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about the product and my first initial thoughts first thoughts when i saw this was i'm excited i want it <laughs> i'll be real with you i am someone who loves lip glosses i am someone who i don't to be fair i, I love lip glosses but lip oils are not usually my thing i don't usually go for lip oil because i i'm not gonna lie i'm not so i don't really get the point <laughs> most times i don't get the point especially when they're like overpriced and stuff i didn't just like ah, miss me with that like you know the dual lip oil listen unless it's a gift from someone i don't see myself purchasing that thing because like yeah it looks it looks good like the package is pretty and everything but like it's a lip oil <laughs> and it costs an arm and a leg why anyways i'm not gonna go into that round because that's not why we're here this is not why we're here we has got cool fun <laughs> sorry if you if you if you're on that side of tiktok you probably know the song that i was that came to my mind this is the fat oil lip drip it is a hydrating tinted lip oil gloss it is available in eight shades and i picked up three of those shades so how to use it apply our lip gloss oil to bare lips for a hint of color and no glass and hydration wear it alone or layer it over lip liner or lipstick for added color and shine pro tip exfoliate your lips before using it okay benefits it delivers up to 12 hours of hydration and protection damn available in eight universal shades okay boost Boast a glossy high shine finish, non-sticky tinted lip gloss formula, can be worn alone or paired with other lip makeup. The eight shades and I ended up picking these three shades. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'm trying to hold it on one hand. And I ended up picking these three shades which are right here. From darkest to lightest, I picked up the shade, shade status update which is this brown one. And then I picked up the shade Newsfeed, which is this kind of almost red, dark. It's not really a dark red, but like a reddy, pinky color. And then there is, and I picked up Mist Call, which is this cute pink color right here. As soon as I saw these, my mind just went straight to the Fenty lip oil, um, which is this one. And you can probably see why it did because, uh, you know, <laughs> it looks the same it looks pretty much the same except for the fact that this is a different color so just in terms of size comparisons in case you have the fenty lip oil uh, as you can see mine is empty so i i used it so the fenty lip oil is 5.6 milliliters and the nyx lip oil is 4.8 milliliters so roughly about 0 0.8 milliliters if i go into swatching the the, the colors i actually got i kind of just want to talk about the other colors so there's a total of eight colors and of those eight the first one is like a basic claire gloss which is called my main there's two glosses which have glitter in them like gold specks in them one is a bit pinky and that one's called mist call and then there is another one which is called photo back which also has glitter in it so it reminded me of two these two products from fenty Follow back, follow back, which is like the browny kind of nudie one with the gold glitter in it. it reminds me of um, Fenty Glow, and Supermodel reminds me of Pretty Please from Fenty as well. Except that they have the same kind of color, but um, Pretty Please from Fenty has more of like a silver type. Yeah, I don't know. It's more like a silver type glitter in it, but the next one is definitely gold. So if so if the silver um, glitter in this was what's putting you off, then the next one might be a shout. So I didn't pick up that cheek. And that cheek is like a purple kind of, yeah, it's a purple color. Um, not really like someone who wears purple a lot. So that's why I didn't pick that one up. The scrolling is more of like, it's, 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 a, it's a brown shade, which is um, kind of in between follow back and uh, status update so it's a brown shade it's not too too brown it's not too too light it's just a nice you know nice brown shade but i just wasn't giving you you know get me bring me home <laughs> 
so anyways i am going to start swatching stuff okay so first things first i am going to swatch them first at the back of my hand and then we're going to move on to showing them on my lips okay so from top to bottom we have missed call newsfeed and then uh, status update i don't know if it's really picking up on camera but i know that the two the top two ones might look similar but they're actually quite different so maybe when i swatch them on my lips you can actually get to see what they look like i am also going to try them on with and without lip liner it has this very big doe foot applicator very similar to the fenty skin one yeah so i have the fenty one here and this is the next one so they're very similar the next one might be a tad bit smaller but honestly i don't mind okay so let's get going This is the shade Mist Call without any lip liner on and I think she's a really cute colour. I think she's everyday wear, she is, you know, no makeup, she is just put me in my purse and I will do the job, you know. Like this is perfect for my lips. This is just giving me that juicy hydration that I need and not doing too much. So I am now gonna go over it with a lip liner. I have chosen the Morphe Trendsetter lip liner and and that is the liner I'll be using for all the lip combos today. Um, Usually I take off the lip or usually I like to apply my lip pencils on like my bare lips without having the lip product on there but honestly it's a lip oil so it should be fine she says and then she makes a mess of everything and this is Miss Call paired with a lip liner That lip, adding that lip liner has just taken it to a whole nother level. She's just so cute. Like, yeah. This is definitely a universal shade that would look good on everyone. So the next shade I'm going to be swatching is the shade News Feed. This shade reminds me a little of the Fenty Hot Cherry. A little, because I feel like the Hot Cherry one's actually red, but this isn't quite as red, but still giving me a bit of like, you know, a little bit of something, something, something. So this is the shade Newsfeed without any lip liner on. Now Newsfeed is the girl I go to when I want my lips to look extra pink. And she's giving I'm here and I want you to look at me. That's what that's what she is. Newsfeed is um, Miss Cole's older sister who has all the sass, all the color, and just 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 everything. She's just like look at me. I deserve your attention. I'm just gonna go in with the same lip liner, the Morphe Translator one, and just honestly, I'm not even done lining my lips, and I'm already seeing like I'm already seeing the vision. Like, oh my god. Okay, so this isn't the best lip lining I've done in my life, but <laughs> stay focused. Focus on what's important. Focus on what's important here. The lip oil, not not the not the skills of me lining my lips. I'm tired. Okay. Anyways, this is what news feed looks like. As I say, she is cute. I like her. I have no problems with her. She is, she's sassy. She wants attention, and I'm ready to give her attention. And I hope you're ready to give her attention because, yeah, she's she's everything. Okay, last but definitely not the least is the darkest shade I have, which is Status Update. Now I haven't actually swatched this one on my lips. I swatched it on my hands earlier for you guys to see, but I haven't swatched it on my lips just by looking at it it reminds me of the fenty hot chocolate chocolate what's it called the fenty hot chocolate color i don't know if you guys can see it but it reminds me of that i will swatch them both on my hands just for you guys to see this might be an unpopular opinion but i really didn't like so look at it guys it's it's essentially still full i literally got it and i was like oh you know i kind of it's one of those things that i got because tiktok made me do it and just i just really i just wasn't wowed like it's nice but then i don't know i just wasn't wowed I, to each their own and if you're now if you're wondering you weren't wowed with that so why did you buy this i don't know okay don't judge me uh, okay so this is a, so the one at the top is the nyx status update and the one at the bottom is the fenty hot chocolate I think they're pretty similar as i said i wasn't really like crazy for the fenty one so i'm not really expecting to be in love with this one either but hey 
Maybe Nyx will surprise me. Maybe they will surprise me. I don't know. But let's go. I just had a thought. Imagine if Nyx came out with this. But with but like a plumping version for all the shades. I think that'd be interesting. And like if we had like actual like if it's actually plumping like not just like tingling but like it actually pumps your lips i think that would i think people would go crazy for that so next that might be your next move just saying here is that is update with no lip light with no lip liner on as i say you know it looks nice i have no problem with it it's just not my go-to wouldn't be my go-to i feel like i would definitely reach for newsfeed or miss call more again going with the lip liner one more time okay so this is what miss cole looks like with a lip liner on i think that personally my favorite color is drum rose please these feet <laughs> i don't know i just think she's that girl i just feel like i'm gonna be reaching for her the most out of all three of them but you guys let me know which color was your favorite or which colors you're really excited for me to try and i will make sure to try it over on my instagram though over on my instagram i'll try it on there um and i'll let you guys know when i've uploaded that video but yeah, this is pretty much it. And if you're wondering what I have on my face, what's going on on my face, well, it's also an X product. That's the hint. It's also an X product. So I am going to do you a favor and put that video up on the screen at one point. I don't know. I don't know which side is going to be on yet, but I'm going to put it there so you can go watch that video and watch my thoughts on this next, on the next Bear With Me Blur Foundation and the concealer and. And I'm gonna let you guys go see that. And if you were already coming from that video to this video, then I guess you don't have to go back. But hey, go back if you want to. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't stop you from doing what you gotta do. You know, you know what I mean? But yeah. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And do let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of, what you would you like to see less of. You know, just some feedback is good. We love some feedback out here, okay? We love some feedback. <laughs> And I'll talk to you guys some other time. Bye.